Hi guys, it's Claire here from The Wellness Project. Thank you so much for checking in today with today's vlog. And today I'm talking about the powerful practice of manifestation. Now, I used to think years ago that manifestation was um, playing with fire. I used to think that in my little safe world, that if I was to continuously ask for what I wanted or put out there to the universe that this is what I wanted, I would end up being disappointed. And this kind of relates to where I was at 10 years ago, not quite understanding that the power that I have within me is divine and infinite. And at this time, even though I grew up in a really religious household and I did have a very strong spiritual connection, my ego would get in the way too much. And my ego was an energy that I decided to identify a little bit with too much. Basically, the ego told me that there's no way that you can manifest something like that and you're going to end up hurt. I would listen. Today though, I'm in a very, very different space. Today I realize that if I ask, I shall receive. And I don't want to say that and then have everybody think all I have to do is ask and it's everything's mine, a million dollars. I do want to clarify here uh, that it has to be in alignment with your soul. What you ask for has to be for your highest good. And you'll know when you're asking for something that's against your highest good because it doesn't feel right and it's coming from your ego or your limiting self-beliefs which are telling you I need more money because then I'll be secure or I need to have a better outfit because then people will like me or I need a great car because then I'll feel worthy so that's not the space that I'm talking from that's not where I'm talking about manifestation and I also want to move into talking about here that manifestation is simply about knowing that what you desire that's related to your soul and your highest good is already yours because what we tend to do culturally is talk about I want and I desire and those words are okay desire is a beautiful word and it's one of my favorite words but when we talk about what we want we are already implying that what we want we don't have and the information then that's communicated energetically out to the universe is that we don't have. We don't have, we lack, we lack, we lack. So unfortunately, we are perpetuating that lack. Vibrationally, we are continuing to attract energy of lack. So manifestation to me is very simply about coming more from a space of knowing. That if there's something that is a true desire for you, that is for your highest good and in alignment with your soul, then you don't need to want it. In fact, you don't need it at all. It will come to you at the point that is right for you in your life. It'll be complete perfection when it arrives and you'll think, I couldn't have planned that or structured that or scripted that any better. It's just complete perfection. It's more about just knowing. I'm putting it out there. I believe that this is already mine, energetically it already exists. In the moment that I have decided that this is mine, it is in reality it exists. It's just simply about that patient waiting game, that it will come to you as and when it's supposed to. So I just want to share with you a couple of little things that I personally do to help me in that process of manifestation. So often when I'm connected in with something that I believe is something I have a real love for, and I know that it's something that brings me real joy and is related to my soul and for my highest good, then I'll do a, a bunch of little tricks that I think some people might think are crazy. But one of the things that I do is I act as if it already exists by writing in my journal and sometimes recording voice memos on my phone as if I was talking about something that was already happening in my life. So as an example, my husband and I have decided that it, we're ready to move back to the beach. I grew up at the beach and I truly believe that when you grow up at a place like that, right by the ocean, maybe the mountains or some other beautiful spot in nature, that the vibration and the energy of that place is something that you're completely tuned to and connected to for the rest of your life. So I've lived away from the beach for many years and I've been back and forth and you know I, I have spent a lot of time away from the ocean but I almost feel a calling to that. So for me, that is directly connected to my soul's alignment, to my highest good, and it's something that I have a real love for. And not a love as in I want it, I just love it. So we've decided that it's time to go back. Now, I'm doing something very different with this experience. 
old Claire would be trawling through domain trying to find the perfect place and desperately pushing to make it happen and forcing the experience. You know, we've got to go look at these apartments on these Saturdays for the next five weeks until we find something. Whereas today, what I'm doing is just softening into the feeling of the truth of what I desire. And then I'm manifesting or starting the process of manifestation by writing about it. So in my journal, whenever I feel the call to, I journal about this place that I live in. I describe in detail the apartment that we have, the view that I have from my bedroom and from my office. I talk about the experience of walking to the beach and visiting my whole family who live by the beach. I talk about it as if it already is. So I act as if it already exists. And sometimes I feel the urge to do the same thing on my phone. I'll pick up my phone and um, record a voice memo. I'll just start talking into the phone as if I'm telling a girlfriend about this beautiful place that I live in and the amazing experience that I have living by the beach. So in the past I would have definitely have heard someone suggest that and thought, wow, you're mental, you're just setting yourself up for a fall and you're just going to go through a whole lot of pain and that's pointless. But it did, never seemed to quite make sense to me that I was thinking and feeling that way. It, even though I was, it just didn't seem to sit right. So when I discovered the idea that coming from this space of truth and knowing and complete trust and manifesting by putting it out there, that resonated with me so quickly and so immediately, I knew that what I was feeling before didn't resonate because it's not true. Even though I didn't quite understand that, I knew that my ego was playing games with me and it wasn't true. So manifestation is a really powerful practice and it's one that I think everybody should be enjoying on a regular basis. And it's something that takes a little bit of practice because as you're doing it, you might notice that your ego gets in the way and starts playing those games and talking to you in limiting self-beliefs and you know other limitations and lack that, lack that comes through. So I invite you to give it a go. Start bringing to life what it is that you desire. If writing is not for you, feel free to create vision boards. I've also got a vision board up on my wall just behind us. And feel free to paint, to create, to build something. Anything that brings to life what you truly desire, that is connected to your soul alignment and your highest good. So I've mentioned that a few times because it's really key here. This is not just about going to manifest something because you greedily want it or because you have a feeling that you need it to be a better person. So that's just a quick video on manifestation. I would love to hear your experiences with manifestation. And I know that so many of my readers are already in this powerful practice and doing it for themselves in many different ways. So I'd love for you to share in the comments below about what you personally do and maybe some of the amazing experiences that you've had manifesting, some of the miracles that you've experienced. So much love and light to you and thank you so much for connecting. I look forward to checking in with you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.